For you are good and your mercy is forever. Alleluia. For you are good and your mercy is forever. Alleluia. Father, not unto us, but unto you, we bring the praise. We bring adoration for this brand new year, brand new month of January, brand new first week of the year. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We receive this year 2023 as a gift from you. The Bible says that your gifts are without repentance. It says every good and perfect gift comes from above. From the Father of light, in whom there is no variableness and no shadow due to turning. He who did not spare his son but gave him to us, how shall he not with him give us other things freely to enjoy? Thank you. And so, Lord, we decree that our journey through this year shall be with gallantry and victory. In the name of the Lord Jesus, from the threshold of the year to the end, you will fight for us. From the genesis of this year, Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 to Revelation chapter 22 verse 21, you will be our God. O oh Lord, from the dawn of this year to the dusk of this year, you will be our sufficiency in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. When we climb the mountains, you will be our God. When we pass through the valleys, you will be our God. You, the God of the mountain, you are also the God of the valley. All through this year, Lord, when we have to go through the waters, the waters will not overflow us. The rivers will not overflow us. In the midst of the water, you will be there with us. The fire of this year will not burn us. The flame will not set us ablaze. Just as Moses saw the bush burning without it being consumed, no matter the fire of this year, we shall not be consumed. We claim your word in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. As we wait upon you, you will renew our strength. We will mount up with wings as eagles. We will run and not be weary. We will walk and not faint. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will give us victory over the enemies from above. According to Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, and spiritual wickedness in high places, enemies from above. You will give us victory over them. You will give us victory over enemies from below. That is found in Matthew 16, verse 18, the gates of hell, because Jesus went there after his death, and he gave us victory. So the enemies from below will not overcome us this year. The enemies around will not overcome us. Enemies without, enemies within, you will give us gallantry and victory over them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, this year we will not be deceived. We will not be distracted. We will not be disappointed. In the name of the Lord Jesus, those who fear you always fear well. This year, we receive the spirit of the fear of God and we decree that we shall fear well. We put upon ourselves by faith the mark of the blood. You said it in your word. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. So by the blood, we shall escape every plague this year. 
By the blood, we escape every trap this year. By the blood of Jesus shed on the cross of Calvary, we reject bad luck, we reject infirmity, we reject oppression, we reject frustration, we reject regret, we reject devastation, we reject stagnation. By the blood, we enter a dimension of ease that we have never witnessed before. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father. Welcome 2023, our year of victory, because in this year, God will fight for us. So shall it be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And amen.